wondering which is better, lab diamonds or white topaz, you're in the right place. In this learning video, we're pitting lab grown diamonds vs white topazes. A lab grown diamond is a real diamond, whereas a white topaz is another type of colorless gemstone. Lab grown diamonds are always synthetic, whereas white topaz stones can be natural. Lab grown diamonds have the highest hardness level, same as a natural diamond, whereas white topazes have lower hardness. A lab grown diamond sparkles like a natural diamond, whereas a white topaz doesn't have the same brilliance. Lab grown diamonds are quite expensive, whereas white topazes are more affordable. They may both look the same from afar, but they are very different gemstones, hailing from different areas and in different ways. Let's take a look at the formation of lab-grown diamonds vs white topazes. A major misconception about lab-grown diamonds is that they are a diamond substitute. A lab-created diamond doesn't form the same way as a natural diamond, but it's still a real diamond. It is the only diamond alternative that is still a diamond. There are two main processes used to create lab diamonds. The high-pressure, high-temperature method involves taking a piece of a natural diamond and putting it in an isolated chamber. The same heat and pressure it takes for mine diamonds to form is done to the diamond seed in the chamber by scientists. A natural white topaz gem is formed within the earth. White topaz is pure topaz, but topaz stones can occur in a rainbow of different colors. The most popular ones are blue topaz and yellow topaz, also called imperial topaz. A topaz stone is an abundant mineral found around the world in places like Zimbabwe, Namibia, Myanmar, Sri Lanka, and the United States, but most topaz stones come from Brazil. Both white topaz and lab-grown diamond engagement rings can look the same from afar, but when you compare their optical properties, you'll quickly learn there more to these two stones than meets the eye. Let's take a deeper look. Lab-grown diamonds have the same optical properties as natural diamonds. The light performance for a diamond signature sparkle is described as a subtle, yet fiery and colorful sparkle of rainbow and white light. The dispersion of light reflected in both diamond and lab-grown diamonds are indistinguishable from one another with the naked eye. However, there are certain diamond cutting styles that cause the light to reflect differently. The light performance of a white topaz stone isn't quite the same as is a diamond's luster. White topaz may have a glassy appearance, but aren't the same sparkly stones as real diamonds. Unlike a real diamond, most white topaz gems are free of internal imperfections to the naked eye. Clarity doesn't increase the cost of a white topaz wedding ring like a diamond wedding ring would. The price difference between a lab-grown diamonds vs white topaz jewelry is distinctive. Lab-grown diamonds are usually around 40% less expensive than mine diamonds of the same quality. If the mine diamond is $8,000, your lab diamond would still be around $5,800. For many, that's still a lot of money. A white topaz gemstone is a very affordable semi-precious gemstone. On its own, you can get them around $5 per carat. Large white topaz stones are harder to come by and increase to around $26 per carat as they reach beyond 3 carats. Now when it comes to worth and value, lab-grown diamonds win. As you can probably guess, a white topaz engagement ring isn't worth much considering overall cost of a natural topaz stone. A lab-grown white topaz is worth is less than that of our earth-grown white topaz. You may find it comparable to the cost of cubic zirconia. Lab-grown diamonds have the same physical resilience as earth-grown diamonds. Both diamond and lab-grown diamonds have a hardness level of 10 on the most scale. Basically, only a diamond can scratch a diamond. That doesn't mean they're impervious to damage or breakage. The daily dust in the air won't bother it over the years. But you can chip it by striking it hard enough due to the perfect cleavage planes in diamonds. Both topaz and diamond gemstones are worth adding to your jewelry collection at the end of the day. White topaz stones may not be highly valued in the diamond industry, but the colored topaz gemstones are prized blue topaz and Swiss blue, sky blue, and London blue topaz are among the most popular. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.